Hi everybody again. The, my trucker is going to come and get a little logs today. So I decided to get one more wagon load just to make sure I have plenty. And then we'll be, at the end of the video, we'll be taking the logs up to the Amish sawmill and, and uh, unloading them and scaling them up at their mill. But first off, I gotta cut a tree. Well, that tree went down fairly well. The limbs were kind of headed that way towards the light, but the tree was leaning pretty heavily that way. So I knew with the limbs to help me, I could put it that way. Um, I don't claim to be the best cutter in the camp by any means. So feel free, you um, hardcore loggers, to critique my cutting technique. Um, I know on this stump here, I ended up, my cuts didn't line up, um, but uh, I got her down. Um, pretty good size tree. If we go the, if we go the farthest distance across, it's not round. We're talking three foot, two inches. Um, but of course it's not round. So anyways, I, what I did is I took the, my saw and cut this at an angle so when that tree comes up over, it's less apt to cause troubles there on the stump. I also took the stump, the log, the tree itself, and rounded the corners a little bit to help as more like a runner type of thing. So um, this is a pretty big tree. I am going to hitch on to the whole thing and see if I can't pull it a little ways. Um, with this stump and all, it would be super nice if I could get this tree up to the road there, and then I will cut it in half and just take half a tree at a time out to the landing. I might not be able to do it. Now, I would highly, highly suggest that, unless you're quite experienced and have a very good team, not to do this, and the reason being when you hitch onto these big trees and they don't go, you will discourage your horses tremendously. My team has been working at this for a long time. They're both 13 years old. They're an experienced team. And so they may not be able to pull this, but uh, I know they will start it and they may pull it right up out of here. It's hard to say. You just never know what there are for limbs underneath it and whatnot. But I have a good rolling hitch on this. And a rolling hitch is I put the chain down in such a way that hook is there. So that will roll that log up 
and it won't straighten up until it hits about here then hopefully it'll pop right over that stump all right and we'll go with that so we're going to try it i if i can't get it the first time i'm going to stop and unhitch it i mean not unhitch but go back and cut a couple logs off it and then i'd have to somehow get back into the to get the rest of it which really wouldn't be that big of a deal i did want to show you a couple things on these tamarack trees these trees are next to the uh, a clear area this used to be a bunch of pine that um, the owner had cut off years ago um, but because they're next to the opening it grows some pretty big limbs so this is what i would call kind of a bully tamarack which does not make the best of lumber but where we're going up to the amish sawmill they are cutting six by sixes and um a lot of two by twelves and, and two inch stuff for raised beds raised bed is a really big seller this spring well it is most springs but it's a big seller so we cut a lot of them a lot of these are actually my orders that people have ordered for me and i will transfer the sawing power up to the amish and i would just take the logs up for him so anyways, we are going to attempt to pull this up out of here. Like I said, if it, we're only going a little ways with it and then we're going to cut it in half. And if it doesn't go, we'll just cut it in half right to start with. It's amazing. They seem to be able to sense that it's going to be a big hitch. Okay, I was pleased with that. They took it up out of there nice. So now I cut or I will cut two 12 foot logs there and and then I will come back and get the, the top log here. I got see two limbs that I missed. A lot of times I have a bunch that I missed and they can cause a lot of trouble, but this time it came out nice, even with that stump involved. So that's good. Flies haven't been bad this year yet, but today they are starting to bother the horses. You watch close and you'll see why 
you need to keep your throat latched tight. Did you see that? Bill got his bridle off one ear almost. Everything was fine, it stayed in place, but it could have been bad. That was the trucker. Timed that just about perfect. He's coming right up. I decided I had time, so I put the horses in the trailer and took them home so they could have some food, and I came back up with it just to pick up. Here we are at the Amish sawmill. The boys are out building sheds today, so the mill's not running. I can't show you a picture of them, but uh, maybe you can see the shed out there in the distance. But this is the mill. My trucker just brought a load of pine in earlier. I don't know where he's gonna put this load of tamarack. We'll see what he does with it. So here's their mill. They're doing some modif modifying already and taking the walls down for the new building they're going to be putting up. Down here they cut their slab wood up and they sharpen their saws. And out back here there is their slab wood pile. Here's a better look at one of the sheds they're building today. So my trucker made it up here. He got all the logs except for three. I'm going to have to scale the logs if that's the way we always do it. And with this high pile, I thought maybe this step ladder might help, but we did do this for a little while. Then we ended up putting the logs down close to the ground, just to um, not very safe climbing that rickety old step ladder to scale those logs up. So, what I do is on the small end of each of these logs, they're different lengths, and I mark down on the lengths of the logs. And I have this scale stick, and it just tells you how many board feet is in every log. So I just go through and scale it with a stick and write it down on my piece of paper. And then at the, when we're all done, I will tally it up and give them a bill to pay for the logs. They really like it when, the, when I use the trucker to deliver my logs instead of the wagon because he can turn the logs so that all the small ends are this way, which is the way they like to saw. And it makes it easier for me because I can scale it a lot easier this way too. Well, that's quite a pile of logs, wouldn't you say? I'm glad I'm not the one that has to saw them all. But they'll saw them pretty fast. They go through them pretty good. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.